Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, I want to thank you all so much for like 2,000 subscribers. I think that is so crazy. Like, we just hit 1,000 subscribers and now we're already at 2,000. So, I want to thank you so much. I don't currently have any plans of what I could possibly do for 2,000 subscribers. And I don't know, I don't know if I want to do anything. Like, obviously, it's a big achievement. But at the same time, I'm currently still playing my Blackout Bingo Challenge. And that was basically for reaching 700 subscribers. And I'm just not finished with it yet. So, like, I kind of want to finish it before I do anything else to celebrate the other milestones. So, yeah. And then for 800 subscribers, I did, like, a shell challenge. Obviously, that is complete. Um, But, yeah. Also, I didn't like the front door. So, I decided to just, like cover it up with the wall and then put the front door that I want um yeah I don't know if that's weird but I do it sometimes and I think it looks fine and what I thought I could have done for like a 2000 subscriber build is like maybe I could make a 2000 simoleon starter home but like I don't know like is that interesting and also I don't know if I can do that like I basically I'm gonna have to have like terrible furniture if I want to do that and like also it's just like do I really want to pay for walls I don't know I could try it um but I don't know if it would be very successful and yeah basically that's pretty much it that's the only idea I have in my head at the moment because like it's 2000 like what else could I possibly do um I could do a giveaway but currently I am broke I don't have any money for that Unfortunately, um, I also used like the new love seat from um, Life and Death. That looks cute, so I used it. Um, and I'm just figuring out the windows and everything. I really hate how long the kids' bedroom is. That sucks. But yeah, this is for Plant Sim. I've done so many Plant Sim builds. I think this is probably my sixth one, or my fourth, or fifth. I don't know. Okay, if I count on my fan, I did one because. Um, this, the Blooming Rooms kit was free at one point. I remember that one. And then I did one that was underground. And then I did one that was kind of like halfway open above ground. And then I did my occult one. So I think this one should be the fifth one that I'm doing. I can't remember any other one besides that. So I think this is my fifth Plant Sim home build. And yeah, it's an apartment, so it's very small. Um, and the reason why I'm building this is because in my career legacy challenge, I want my sim to basically have a plant sim baby. So I was thinking her friend could ask her to have a science baby, maybe because maybe she can't have, maybe she can't find anyone, or or I guess I don't know. But whatever the reason is, and yeah, I don't want my sim to like cheat on her partner to like have a baby with her because I just don't want her to be a cheater like that would hurt me like I like I know I made the sim so like obviously they're special to me but like I wouldn't hate them like I would still like them but then I would also have a point where I don't like them because like why would you do this you know like it's kind of just back and forth um so I don't want to do that but I will say like she my sim invited over the plant sim to the gym you know to work out and the plant sim flirted with her and she she just went along with it. She didn't reject it or anything. So part of me is kind of like wanting to like let it play and see what happens. Um, I don't think I'm going to have the child anytime soon. Just because like I have a toddler and an infant. I think I don't want to have that baby until this infant or the infant is a toddler and maybe only has a couple of days before it ages up to a child. And I will say, if I want this person or this sim to be the heir, I probably I probably will play in that home for a while because, I don't know, I assume like my sim will be done with everything. So I'll just be riding around until like my plant sim babies age up. And she has to have four kids. Currently she has two. So I was thinking like, oh, maybe she can have twins. Um, so I could give her like the lot trait um, when she decides to have the science baby because I'm pretty sure that also works with the science baby feature. It should. I tried it before. So and honestly that trait never let me down. Like I always usually have twins with it. So 
Um, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, my sim is a culinary critic, like she critics food. I don't know exactly what the branch is called, but I think the other one is like art or whatever. Um, art something painting, I don't know, but yeah, and also plant sims, they don't have like a hunger need, they have like a sun need. So they need the sun, they need water obviously, they don't have like, I don't think they have like a hygiene need, I think it's called pruning. And for the bathroom, they don't need the toilet at all. Um, so I guess like the toilet there is for guests, and they could just wash their hands in the kitchen. Um, and I guess the kitchen is also for guests, but like this apartment is so small. And the reason why I built it is because I plan on my plant sim eventually maybe coming over to spend the night with her mother. Um, cause like obviously as I said the plant sim wants to have a child so I'm assuming they would want to spend time with their child. Um, and I think this is realistic and I think it will be fun, you know, it's a fun way to like have a different scenery I guess for the child and for my own gameplay. Um, I think that's fun but... Yeah, we're working on her bedroom at the moment. I think it's pretty nice. I don't think this is my favorite layout just because the child's bedroom is so long and that's because I wanted to put a window in it. It's not that I wanted to put a window because in my head I was like, I don't care, but I feel like other people will care. You know what I mean? Cause like, it's nice to have natural light, but I feel like some people, you know, they sleep maybe in the basement which maybe does not have a window like it could have a window well but some basements don't have a window well and you know like i don't know if you can hang out down there all the time then i don't think there's anything wrong with your bedroom not having a window because it's the sims we have to remember it's the sims 4 it doesn't need to be realistic like in real life obviously you want a window it would be nice to have a window but in The Sims, I'm just like, I don't care. This this isn't real, you know, so I don't think it matters that much. But to other people, it might bother them. And when I give you the tour, above the bed, I put like this painting. I think it was from Dream Home Decorator and it was like the green leaves. And I decided to um, size up a different picture. So that way the frame covered the frame that was attached to the Dream Home Decorator picture because I did not like it. It wasn't the right wood tone, so hopefully that made sense. I don't know if it did. And also, I really need help because I'm trying to make CC of a screenshot photo. So I'm doing like a whole standalone recolor, but the photo is always blurry. Like no matter what I do, the photo is blurry all the time. And I just don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Like why is it blurry? I don't want it to be blurry. Um, I don't know why that's happening. Um, I don't know. Like, I tried it multiple times, but... And I also feel like there's just not really that much help on the internet. Like, I've been shown how to do it. It's just, like, mine is blurry. And I was trying to ignore it in-game, but I just can't ignore it because it looks terrible. It looks awful. It looks hideous. But, as you can tell, I went for, like, a yellow and green color scheme. I thought that was cute. They have a little dining table with a laptop um because you know they don't really have space for a laptop anywhere else i guess i could have put it in the parents bedroom and also like the child does have a desk so that is nice but now we're moving on to their bedroom um so i put the bed kind of in the entrance and i also decided not to give them a door just because like the door diagonally is like stretched out and it's big um, at least for the one from, um, what do you call it? Lovestruck. The one from Lovestruck that we're using everywhere pretty much, it stretches to fit the full wall, um, length, I guess, or width, I don't know. But, yeah, um, it's just why. I don't want that. It looks ugly to me. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I don't want to be mean, but, like, it looks weird. It looks weird. So, I really wish we could just... I wish they could change it to not stretch like that if it's on a diagonal because um, personally I don't like it. It looks bad to me but maybe that's just my opinion. I'm pretty sure other people feel that way because it just, no, it doesn't need to be stretched. It looks weird to me. It just, it's not it. But anyways, um, yeah, I like the child's bedroom. I gave them like an arts table, a desk, 
a few toys. I gave them Blarfy and I did play test this so everything does work. And the way I uploaded it to the gallery is basically usually you have to like, well you still have to like delete the walls except instead of like fully deleting them or whatever, I deleted them but I drew a wall that wasn't connected to anything else so that way I could like place the wall where it needed to be without it counting as a room. And I did like add a sim to my or to her house just to check to see if everything was okay and if they got embarrassed by using the bathroom and a room that's technically not a room and they don't get embarrassed so that is good um yeah but yeah so the semi I added she never like got caught um using the bathroom or taking a shower so everything should be fine I was a little worried about that because I was like I don't want that to happen because that would be like a very annoying way to play the game but I guess doing it like this, that way you don't have to like replace stuff. I think it could get trickier though if you have platforms because obviously, you know, you can write in the description like, oh, where I put the fence is where the platform is supposed to go. But obviously if you haven't like watched the video, it might be a little confusing of like what part is supposed to be the platform. Is it supposed to go up? Is it supposed to go down? I don't know. So anyways. Um, yeah, so we're just working on the child's bedroom. This is a pretty simple apartment. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to play with the plant sim, basically. Um, I don't know what this plant sim will do, because obviously they're not even born yet. Um, in my head, I was thinking that the plant sim that lives here now, I was thinking she was a style influencer. But now in my head, I'm thinking like, oh, maybe she is a chef. I don't know. I think that could be pretty cool and maybe she's trying to like impress my sim with her cooking skills since she did flirt with her. Um, but yeah, I don't want my sim to cheat. That would be awful. I would feel different about her if she did that, but I'm just gonna let the game do what it wants to do and whatever happen, happens. I think I will have them hang out a little bit more and if they flirt, they flirt. If they don't, they don't. And if my sim takes it the wrong way, then maybe that's the sign that she won't cheat. I don't know really, but um, we're pretty much wrapping up the build. I just have to finish up the wallpaper. Um, and then I think that's pretty much it. Honestly, there's really not much to it. I don't know if I get anything out on the entrance way, but I'm going to hop into the game and, oh, I guess, actually, yeah, I do move some things around. I think I get like an umbrella rack. Um, that was weird, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap things up and give you guys a tour. So, of course, the Sims live in San Maishuno. They live in the fashion district. This is where I built the apartment, except there's a different apartment right here. So, we're just gonna, like, replace it. So, here's the apartment I built. I did use a lot of packs. I'm so sorry. But I did write in the description where it's supposed to be placed. So, if you forget, that's okay. It's just in the description. And, yeah. Oh, it placed on top. I probably probably should delete all of this. This should be correct. Okay. So as you can tell, like it's just one room, even though I did put like a wall right here. But yeah, basically I want you to ignore this part. There is a mirror, but once you walk in, you have a thermostat, you have a place to put your mail, your umbrella. This is like your dining room place. We have pictures, we have a trash can, and then this is the bathroom. And I did play test. Trust me, everything does work. They have towels, which honestly would probably get wet. And then over here we have have our small little living room with our very small little kitchen and they can chop up on this counter and then this is the main bedroom so I decided that maybe she was growing some plants in here she has some jewelry she has a sitting area with more photos she has like a dresser with a cow plant and some more plants and yeah that's pretty nice. Oh, and this is what I did. So I used this painting from Base Game. It's called Martian Memories Landscape Number no. 1. So it's just this one basically. And I sized it up with the tool mod so that way I can cover up its original frame because obviously that one does not match what we're going for. And then through the arch is the kids' bedroom. Unfortunately, they don't get any privacy, but I think it's okay since they're only here during the weekend. So that is pretty fine. So I gave them like an arch table. They have like a 
nice little desk area with a friendship bracelet. I feel like I kind of struggled to know what to put on the walls, but I figured it out. And yeah, that is the full build. So again, if you want to download this, it will be on my gallery at Sims Delicious. But I think I am going to leave this video off here. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you, you are important, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.